Hi, my name is Hassan. This is a quick tutorial showcasing the Parliament script. As you see, it's a dockable script. You need to create parties first, and this will generate the parties, uh, where you can add the number of seats per party and the hex color for each party. So we've created with one click a parliament of 60 seats um, distributed on three rows um, the first radius is 400 and with 40 pixels um, increments um, obviously we can change these uh, depending on what we need um, we created three parties and the tab max is three so it's currently showing three parties per tab um, if we do 10 parties um, it will show 10 parties and three parties each tab. Um, if you want, if you have a bigger screen, you can have five parties. And um, it will be just two tabs. Uh, for now, let's keep it compact. Um, if we go inside, you can see that all these different layers they're named by row and they're colored by each party these colors don't correspond these are just random labels so no expressions needed uh, which makes it super quick to load uh, we can pre-comp the parties uh, so each party is in a different comp and you can see them um, organized in this folder so you can add in this uh, section here you add yeah, the number of seats for each party and this is the hex color for each party you can change each party to whatever color you want um, but the script will generate random colors initially just to get you started with the look we have circle we can change to a square and this is the size of the circle of the square um, we can add a custom shape um, so I have one prepared here and you can add a stroke uh, if you go back to a circle um, so now it's animated from 0 degrees to 180 we can change that so to make it a smaller parliament or obviously can make it longer if you want to change the number of seats So basically this is the it's saying the number of seats is not equal to the party number so these are 60 and this is 150 we they need to match up for example now we have everything this is the angles um, if we go back to 180 um, we can change how elliptical it is so now it has more uh, of an elliptical um, profile let's go back to one last thing is the animation now um, this is the full animation in um it's one second let's do two seconds and now everything will resolve before the second second and the animation ends here the time dur the duration is the duration of individual seat animating in and party offset is is um, you can offset each party by say three seconds 
till now it will animate um, the first party then wait three seconds the second party and the last one go back to zero um, everything has been animating from the left and you can animate from the right um, there's another option for from middle and to middle to the animator to the middle um, the offset here is zero so you can offset the position of the animation and let's do big number you can tell the difference now it's coming to the middle from 500 pixels the other option is from point this point will act like an emitter and um, these dimensions are inside the main comp um, and will act like this and you can pair it with any of these directions like the offset and lastly this is the profile so the speed profile uh, we can have different one depends on what you need This slider will change the strength of the curve. So now if we go back and create it, see it has a softer um, profile. In the look section, swap seats. So let's say you didn't like how this sits here, you can simply of the seats and it will change them um, and we'll keep the animation and timing and um, we'll change that as needed as well the last thing i want to discuss is the um, presets they have the we have the uk parties and the us parties um, if we re match this number we are creating 435 circles with one click super quickly that's all thank you very much